Fitch failed to make the ECC soccer finals a few weeks back, but there they were Wednesday night playing Watertown for a trip to the Class L state final. You know, after kind of missing out on ECCs, not going into the final, I told all of them, I was like, hey, state's just our last shot, and if we're going to do anything, let's, let's finish this out, you know, try to get as far as we can. Just seven minutes into the game, the Falcons strike first on a perfect cross from Thomas Ford to a streaking Sebastian Duffy. I told him from the start, I was like, we got to get him on early. And as soon as I saw that cross, the minute I saw the ball in, go right in front of my feet, I was like, I have to bury this. Good ball in and, you know, just placed perfectly on my feet. So. Then with 6.50 to go in the first half, a long throw from Micah Diggs finds the head of James Minor, who Coach Jay Wolfrad had sent up from his position in the back. He's just a big body, and just, just what we saw on film earlier on, I was like, you know what, if Mike can put it where we can put it, I think James can have some success there. It, you know, obviously, it, it makes us look good when we do that, and it works, because uh, we weren't going to send him originally, but, uh, you know, intuition, I guess. The Falcons take the 2 nothing lead into the second half, and Duffy, with a strong individual effort trying to make it 3 nothing, but instead collides with keeper Lucas Fenn. Physical play would continue, both teams trying to punch their ticket to the championship game. Watertown would earn a free kick on a hard challenge right outside the box. The kick would come from sophomore Luke Acuna, but it's handled easily by Fitch sophomore goalie Nathan Virtue. More opportunities in the second for Watertown, this time on a long throw in by Liam Farrell, but it's caught by Virtue. Later, Farrell again with the long throw into a crowd of bodies, and it's poked home by Zachary Paletta to make it 2-1 with 5.40 to go. Fitch was able to ride out the final five minutes to victory. They'll face Weathersfield in the Class L final this week. You like the way the, the quarterfinals felt. Great. Wait, wait till you get to the semis. You like the way the semis felt. Great. But guess what? Each round's going to get a little more difficult. And we look forward to the challenge.